Hello people, in this video we want to look at the management of uh, breach presentation, isn't it? So far we have looked at what breach presentation means, right? We have looked at the types of breach presentation, we have looked at the cause, the etiology of breach presentation, diagnosis of breach presentation, how will you do clinically and ultrasound, we have looked at, looked at all these, right? Now we have to look at the mechanism of labor, how to deliver this breach baby. Guys, the first thing we will talk about here is an external cephalic version, okay? We will first try to correct this breach, okay? So first let's look at external cephalic version. So external cephalic version, basically there is um, a success rate of about 65%. They will do it after 36 weeks, okay? How, after how much? After 36 weeks of pregnancy, they will try to do an external cephalic version. They will try to rotate the baby from outside. Why 36? Because if you do it before 36 weeks, okay, now let us say this is 36 weeks onwards where you want to try the version. Before 36 weeks, what if you do what it will happen, what will happen, the baby will go back and it will become breech again, okay, then. So that's what they are saying here. <clears throat> Early weeks, it's actually easy to do, but the chance of reversion is more, okay, it will just go back to the breech. Late version, if you do, what will happen? Because the fetus will be big and the amniotic fluid will be less. So, late version is difficult. So, 36 onwards, they are trying to find that, you know, middle zone where they can do it and it will not go back. And also, the amniotic fluid is sufficient for all this, okay? So, 36 week onwards, you will do an external cephalic version. Here, you can look at external cephalic version technique. This, the baby is breech, you can see here. And then they are turning it, turning it, turning it. So according to me, they are turning it anti-clockwise, right? And then they are turning it, turning it, turning it till it becomes a cephalic presentation. That is the head. So you can see here, he rotates, the person is rotating the breech, right? Or if it is a transverse lie also, they are turning it basically to a vertex position. Okay. Nowadays they are saying that using of tocolytic drugs, you can you can use some uterine relaxants and then try a version at later weeks. Okay. See, uterine relaxants has made version at later weeks less difficult. So you can do a, at later weeks with the help of uterine relaxants. What are the benefits of doing all this rotation of the baby? So basically you will reduce the incidence of breach. That was the whole intention. Yes, you want to reduce the number of breach presentations. Then you will um, reduce the Incidence of breach delivery, obviously, and its associated complications, obviously, and reduction in the cesarean delivery. Cesarean section can be avoided, isn't it? So that's why these are the benefits of an external cephalic version. So it is likely to be successful more in the case of a complete breach because the baby will be completely flexed, right? Okay, then. If it is a no, it's not engaged, basically it shouldn't have engaged already, right? So in those cases also it will help, then. If the sacro anterior position, we always are telling you anterior is anyways common and the sacro anterior position is more uh, favorable, okay. Then adequate liquor should be there, obviously you should be able to turn it and the patient should be non-obese because when you are holding the uh, abdomen and turning externally, if there is a lot of fat, you can't get hold of this fetus, looks like, isn't it? So those are all the... Um, Successful versions will happen in case of, in such cases, okay. Then, let us look at the failure. Why can failure occur of version? Guys, what are we looking at? Uh, external cephalic version we are looking at. Why will it fail? It fails if there is extended legs. Extended legs can happen in um, frank breach, etc. Isn't it? Extended legs. So, basically, splinting action of the limbs will be there. Do you know what frank breach is? Extended legs. So here is the breach with extended legs. That's the frank breach. So what will happen here? It is difficult to flex the trunk. Okay. Because of splinting action of the limbs, it's, it's difficult in this frank breach. Okay. But in this, actually the head will engage, right? There can be early engagement of the presenting part. So in frank breach, even there is engagement. Then scanty liquor, if it is there, you cannot turn, there will be, uh, you cannot turn, so there will be failure. If there is a big baby, if there is obesity of the mother, same thing they are writing now in a failure. Here they wrote success, here they are writing failure. Okay, and if there is a short cord, will you be able to turn? No, cannot turn. Then uterine malformations are there, then how will you do all this? 
the same cases same things are going repeatedly they're seeing the same thing now failure will happen if there's a short cord obviously if there's a placenta here and such a small cord right then how can you turn the baby isn't it small cord then uterus itself is bicornuate or uh, septate or etc so all these things will not allow you to do a version then let's come to the dangers of version before coming to dangers of version we'll do one thing we'll look at the contraindications of uh, version so here you have the contraindications of external cephalic version so let's use when you will not do is there a multiple pregnancy will we be able to turn no then if there's ruptured membranes there will be no amniotic fluid then the amniotic fluid will be leaking will you be able to turn no if there is um, a, a contracted pelvis right basically will the baby come out at all no it is it will not going to come out however it is isn't it it's a contracted pelvis that should be more for a cesarean section so obviously whatever is contraindicated for a see whatever has to be a cesarean section will have to be a cesarean section no point in turning the baby if it is finally going to be a cesarean section so all indications of cesarean section will be contraindications of external cephalic version isn't it so if there is oligohydromnios obviously we told you amniotic fluid is less than if there was a previous cesarean delivery imagine turning and this and scar rupture etc right again this is almost a relative indication for for, uh, uh, for induction of labor etc isn't it so same thing whatever is an indication for a cesarean section will be equal to a contraindication for a external cephalic version so are we done with this rh isoimmunization what will happen with this rh isoimmunization the baby is at risk in rh isoimmunization isn't it do you want the maternal and the fetal blood to mix no so uh, some things there we need to check more on this reason actually so if the mother is rh negative and the baby is rh positive then you have to be careful with all this okay if there is any obstetric complications eclampsia elderly primi gravida because of pelvic rigidity isn't it then bad obstetric history so basically these are all same as indications for cesarean section very good then cardio topography is abnormal means what fetus fetal distress again fetal distress is an indication for cesarean section if there is a congenital malformation of the uterus again same thing they are telling okay let me not say again again so much fetal causes guys uh, fetal causes look at this a dead fetus is there why are you trying to turn it anyways it will come out isn't it it doesn't matter which part is coming out first it's a dead fetus then fetal compromise iugr intrauterine growth restriction is there so there is some problem so don't make it more uncomfortable looks like hyper extension of the head hyper extension of the head that's why they were saying in ultrasound determine how the head is right if if the head is flexed it's good isn't it always flexion is good hyper extension of the head not good large fetus will you go and do all this no not at all right antepartum hemorrhage if there's a placenta previa or a placental abruption can you imagine if there's an abruption and you're turning it and there is there can be placental separation that's not good then placenta previa placenta previa itself especially a central placenta previa is a absolute indication for a, ces a cesarean section so when you have to do a cesarean section right because the placenta is sitting here and anyways the baby ca can't come out so you obviously have to do a cesarean section no point doing an external cephalic version so these are contraindications of external cephalic version okay so we have looked at the contraindications of external cephalic version very good now let's go to the dangers right <laughs> dangers of version are that there there can be premature onset of labor you uh, the labor may go into premature onset of labor there can be premature rupture of membranes the membranes itself can rupture there can be placental abruption bleeding entanglement of the cord around the fetal part or formation of a true knot which can lead to fe uh, impairment of the fetal circulation there can be fetal death because of the true knot so i am thinking that it's not just a cord entanglement so if this is the placenta and this is the cord and this is the baby this is the legs of the baby and this is the umbilical cord okay now what happens this cord around the fetal part now this cord goes around its head or something uh, that is bad or there's a true and knot i'm thinking a true knot means if this is the uh, cord and there's a true knot there'll be impairment of the fetal circulation so the blood flow <clears throat> not the blood what i'm saying 
yeah blood and all the nutrients oxygen etc the circulation gets impaired right there can be fetal death <coughs> then fetal maternal bleed chances are more that is why that rh iso immunization is it amniotic fluid embolization this is a very very bad thing for the mother isn't it so those were the uh, dangers of uh, external cephalic version guys now let us look at the next uh, paragraph here they are saying that um, if version fails or is contraindicated what will you do if this version fails or if the contraindicated you couldn't at all do okay then you will continue with the pregnancy as it is as is and then you will do a delivery right you can either try for a vaginal delivery right if you can if you have all the setup or a cesarean so they are saying that um, you will choose cesarean or a vaginal breech delivery okay elective means what it's not an emergency so you can just plan a cesarean section look at the indications guys for uh, we're just looking a little ahead uh, of this video actually so anyways guys in this video we had to only look at external cephalic version but anyways you can do an elective cesarean section if the baby is big or if there's hyperextension of the head or if, the, if there's a footling presentation because there can be a risk of cord prolapse right and if there's any complication etc right or you can do a vaginal breech delivery so uh, if you have all the uh, support for a vaginal delivery like uh, you can have an assisted breech delivery like uh, you can have an anesthetist to give ad, um, to give anesthesia you can have an assistant to press on the fundus during contraction right then you can keep a neonatologist ready for resuscitation of the neonate then you can use vacuum forceps etc instruments so that becomes assisted breech delivery right so in this video we wanted to look at the management of a breech presentation the first thing they are trying is an external cephalic version right and then whether that fails or succeeds depending on that you have to see what to do so basically let us just look at a, a scheme here for the management of breech presentation you will assess antenatally whether the, the fetus is fine mother is fine how is the uterus etc then you will try an external cephalic version right around 36 weeks or after they are doing this uh, and uh, with tocolytics if needed then they will also do a ctg so that is cardio tocography or they will monitor the fetus etc and then if it is successful then they will deliver it as a normal vertex presentation but if it fails if the external cephalic version fails then what did you do you can do either a cesarean or a vaginal delivery right uh, basically it's a breech at this point it has failed means it's a breech presentation for a breech presentation what and all you can do you can do an elective cesarean delivery or you can give a trial of breech delivery whether it will work or not if there is labor progress and it is fine then you can go with a you can do an assisted breech delivery where you can have all these anesthesiologists and you can have uh, a neonatal resuscitators and um, all the pediatricians that's that is and then you can have an assistant to press on the fundus during contraction etc and you can do an assisted breech delivery okay and otherwise what you can do is you can do an elective uh, cesarean section which is mentioned here right elective cesarean section and um, in case this uh, vaginal breech delivery is not progressing the way you want then you will have to again do a cesarean section right uh, in labor this is very annoying uh, every time that's what they say is you you're trying vaginally it doesn't work again you do a cesarean this is what is very annoying even in induction of labor they say this that you are uh, inducing uh, the person so that they can go into vaginal delivery and finally again you do a cesarean those things are very annoying right so this is when you will do a cesarean in labor in labor you will do a cesarean right so then why will you do that if there is a arrest of progress the progress is not happening right or there's a fetal distress there's a non reassuring fetal heart rate cord prolapse has happened right if cord is coming out first then what do you do you have to take them up for cesarean section very high level we have looked at uh, uh, external cephalic version breech presentation management etc we have to look at details now okay so we'll meet you in the next video bye bye